Hi everyone and welcome to this video on multiplying and dividing expressions, part of a Year 7 Algebra course. Now, if you're not in Year 7, don't worry about it. Doesn't mean you cannot watch. Just dive into this stuff. Algebra is freaking awesome, but as I say all the time, it is a big fat trick. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, it's really good to see you. Do me a favor if you can. Can you click the little doohickey in the corner that'll subscribe you to my channel? Uh, subscribers mean all the difference to me. Uh, they should let me know that you are watching. If you are over on mathsguru.com, there is also that do hickey, but wow, have you got way, way more things that you can do. Now, if you haven't already, head on over to mathsguru.com and look at lesson notes and time code and all those exciting things. Now, multiplying and dividing expressions, by the end of this lesson, as you can see above, I want you to be able to do all sorts of exciting things. Write multiplication and division questions, Remember that multiplication is commutative, easy for you to say. Numbers should be written first, perennials, and all that exciting stuff. And yes, recapping, we, do you know, it's fairly fast paced, isn't it? Because we're trying to get all of this exciting language and stuff over and done with so we can actually practice the real algebra because algebra is going to be used for the rest of your maths career. It's going to come up in absolutely everything. And the good thing is you can do this. You see past the tips and the tricks and all that smoke and mirrors and all that rubbish that mathematicians throw there to make it complicated for you and you will get through this. Now, let's, let's, uh, let's show some love, as I already say. Now, I don't know about you, but I love my mum and dad. I love a lot of people. And I like sending cards. Now, over here in Australia, sending cards doesn't seem to be a very, very big thing. But in the UK, it is massive. And so each year, I'll send my mum a card, I'll send my dad a card, and I'll write them lots of lovely messages. And at the very bottom of each, I will write, love you. And I'll write Darren, because it would be really weird if I wrote Maths Guru. And then I put kiss, 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 kiss. Now, they think I'm sending them love. But what they don't know is that it's a bit of a maths joke. Because what do you notice these things look like? Multiplication signs. Yes, so I am saying kissy kisses, which is what I use all the time on cards, are exactly the same as, yes indeed, multiplication signs. So between numbers and letters and numbers and numbers and all these exciting things, I know that where a number and a letter is stuck together, they are actually kissing. Too much information if we go too much further. But I need that really, really important point to be thought through this video. Okay? Once you see past that tip and that little trick, it is awesome. So for example, if I have 3a, now yes, we can think of that as three apples or three lots of an apple, but I think of that as the three and the a are kissing. Oh yes, they are kissing. Now I can put the kissy kissy in and I can take the kissy kissy out. Now when I do that, that's the difference between writing it in expanded form and writing it in more simplified form. So what about uh, 4AB? Well, that's just four, kissy kissy A, kissy kissy B. And I'm gonna say that all the way through to year 12. Believe it or not, I promise you, it doesn't ever get old. I'm getting older, but that kissy kissy stuff doesn't get older. So, big trick for this one is write the kissy kissy. Now, what about fractions? Have you already switched off? Don't switch off if you hear the word fractions. Fractions, I think, have got a bit of a bum rap. It's not a great thing, and I think, sadly, lower down in the school, sometimes fractions isn't taught as well as it could do, but we can, we can break that. We can, we can sort it out in, in this now. The point you need to realize is that we cancel down fractions. It is really, really important. Now, we do it with numbers, don't we? So if I scroll up a little bit, let's see what happens. If I gave you two on four as a fraction, I'm pretty sure everyone in this you know, video watching world is going, well, that's the same as a half. Absolutely. Why is it the same as a half? Because we know that the number on the top and the number on the bottom is divided or divisible by two. Both the top and the bottom can be divided by the same thing or their highest common factor. So I know that twos divide into two, whoops. <laughs> we know that twos divide into two once and we know that twos divide into four twice. And so we know that's the same as a half. Not a particularly complicated example, no? Marvellous. What about uh, six on nine then? What's the highest common factor of six and nine? Or what number divides into six and what number divides into nine? Again, I know that they are both divisible by three. Knowing that, I can say, well, how many sixes, uh, sorry, how many threes are in six? There are two. And how many threes in nine? There are three. And so, yes, I get two thirds as my lowest fraction. 
Now, again, lots of kids say to me, well, 